Dear colleagues, this video shows the way out when people become small while chopping the nucleus. You can see this is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. The pupil has dilated quite well, say up to 6.5 millimeter or so. And if the pupil remains like this throughout the surgery, there should not be any problem. By this time, I have made all the incisions. Now I am injecting an air bubble and I am going to stain the anterior capsule. Why? Because if the pupil becomes small during surgery and if I have to use iris hooks, then the stained rexis margin will be easy to identify. However, in this case, I am using adrenaline. This is adrenaline to see if the pupil remains dilated throughout the surgery. And now I wash the dye out and replace the air bubble and BSS with viscoelastic substance. This is HPMC that is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now with application of viscoelastic substance the people has dilated quite well. Now I'm going to do capsulorexis. The capsule has been incised and a capsular tag has been raised. I hold this tag with Ibrita forceps and in this case I am going very close to the margin of the pupil to get an adequate size to rexis of about say 5.5 to 6 millimeters. That's it. A nice round rexis has been achieved. Now I'm going to do hydro dissection. Now see what happens as I do hydro dissection and I depress the nucleus, some fluid comes out, intraocular pressure, pressure becomes less and the people starts becoming smaller. I inject viscoelastic substance again and now is the time to enter into the entry chamber with the tip of the FACO handpiece. Yes, the tip is introduced and now I start chopping the nucleus. Now see what happens. At this time the people is very nicely dilated say about 7 millimeter or even 7.5 millimeter. Now as I start chopping, see the people has become so small. So what to do when this people becomes so small? I have planned to chop the nucleus somehow and then see what I can do. So I am making several chops. All the fragments are not free. Though this is a cataract which is not very hard, the fibers are interlacing and this appears a bit leathery. So what I do is I sculpt at the center and then I come out. See the people is at this stage is quite small. Now I inject methyl cellulose again and this is viscometriasis people has dilated to some extent. Now I take two instruments, a chopper in my left hand and a Sinsky hook in my right hand and I am trying to 
manually separate the fragments and I'm trying to make the fragments free yes and I am able to do that the fragments are free And now I have planned to emulsify these fragments without using the side port. So I go into the eye, go into the entry chamber and start emulsifying the nucleus, nuclear fragments with only on hand. I am not taking help of chopper in this case and see the people is remaining quite dilated. So this is the tip I am going to share that if the if you understand that people will become small while emulsifying then you just chop the nucleus into fragments and do on handed FECO like this and see as soon as IOP gets less, people become small like this. And now, cortical cleanup is to be done. I am using a Simco cannula to do that. But at this time, the people is quite small, say about 4 millimeter or so. And there may be some cortical matter hidden behind the iris. So what I want to do is I want to check if some cortical matter is there or not. So what I do is I inject methyl cellulose and I take an instrument which looks like Y. This Y shepherd instrument retract the iris and see all around if some cortical matter is there and see here at around 11 o'clock I can see some cortex so I go again into the capsular bag through the left side put and this time I get the cortex and remove it That's it. So this is how we can manage a case when people becomes small while chopping or emulsifying. Now in this case a hydrophobic acrylic aspheric intraocular lens has been implanted into the capsular bag. And this lens is from AMO about medical optics no financial interest but glistening is very less my observation is glistening with about lenses are negligible it remains very clear now I hydrate the side ports and I always make a final wash to clean out the viscoelastic substance that may be there and I do it in higher magnification 
Now this time I clean the visco which sticks to the corneal endothelium also. Then I form the entry chamber and conclude the case. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Thank you for your attention.